And there is, speaking of fuzz, you have something coming on the horizon. I that do. People should probably be very excited about. Yeah, so uh, for the 20 year anniversary of the band, um, we're doing sort of a muff clone with an overdrive circuit. And like 20 years ago, that's what I used. I had, a, I think it was a version six um, big muff. And in front of that, I would put like an SD1, like a Boss Yellow Super Overdrive. Yeah. Um, and that would be, that was my sound, like second stage era of the band and, and everything before that. Um, and so we partnered with Ren and Cuff to, to sort of recreate that, but also add some cooler modifications to it, maybe some alternative uh, overdrives to, to, you know, to just like boost the muff, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's what we're working on. And, and it's, we, we're calling it the Anna, because the muff that I, I had acquired, I didn't acquire it in the cleanest of ways. I actually stole it. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, from a, a, a high school teacher. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it just so happened it was in a drawer. I, it was calling me, you know, I was a fan of Jay Mascus. There it was. I didn't know what a big muff was. I finally saw one, so I was like, you know, that, there's I'm so many put these different question marks sneaky fingers to work and based on those like <laughs> elements of the story is like a teacher having a big muff in her drawer. <laughs> well, it was a music teacher. Oh, that oh makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was like a history teacher. Like Austin just has yeah. a big muff in her drawer. <laughs> yeah, um, but he was a really cool music teacher. Uh, Bert Hughes was his name, and uh, he had later come to a show, and I had confessed to him my and my uh, thievery, and uh, and he had he actually said it was it was a gift for me. Oh wow! <laughs> so, Preemptive strike. I know, I know. Um, but uh, but inside that muff, there is a, a sticker. The, whoever assembled the board, their name was Anna, oh. and I thought it was perfect because it is the anniversary of the record, the anniversary of that sound, to call it Anna. That's cool, man. And, and were you able to get the unit to uh, Ren and Cuff to to like? Re yeah. So they pretty much. Yeah, they took it one to well, yeah, and they've uh, they've actually cleaned it up a little bit, uh, but they've actually posted it on their social media, like the actual unit with the blood on it. There's oh, blood wow. on it, you know, like uh, tape markers from, you know, where I would position uh, the the knobs, and yeah, they took it and cloned it, and now are you know adding those those modifications to it. It's pretty cool. I I, I uh, we got a prototype before the last tour. And it was just like so much fun to mess with because yeah. I still utilize that that configuration when we record records because I know I know it's a guaranteed like I know it, it guarantees a certain sound mm. and it certainly does a, a beautiful feedback a creamy like wild feedback I used I actually used it on the last record on a song called Toys There's a moment in in Toys where this outrageous feedback happens before we go into like. The verse and that's that configuration that's yeah good yeah with the with the yellow overdrive in front and um but yeah i'm really excited about it that's cool man and and do you know if it's going to maybe this is not a decision you've made yet is uh if it's going to be like a, a wide release or is it going to be like a limited thing to like 250 units or is it going to be like an active pedal that will be in the ren and cuff lineup you know i'm not sure yet i mean we're i think we're just kind getting of. to that point where we're going to have those conversations but um i guess we'll make it as available as as people want it gotcha yeah.